Hi Curious Kids, Miss Leone here. While the library's closed, our April school holiday activity is now online. Let's experiment. Today, we're going to be making a butterfly, but not just any old butterfly, a magical floating butterfly. But of course, we're also going to be exploring the pull of gravity. Let's get started. For this experiment, you're going to need some card. I'm using an empty cereal box. We'll need some weights, and I've got some five cent pieces for my weights. You'll also need some markers for decoration, some glue, scissors, and a pencil. You can download a butterfly template from our website. Trace the shape onto your card. Cut it out and use your markers to decorate. Now this butterfly, it balances in the middle. Mm, that's not much fun. Let's add some magic. Get your five cent pieces and glue them onto each side of the wing. Now let's try and balance that on our fingertip. <sighs> Whoa, magic. Let me try it on a pencil. <gasps> Amazing. Amaze all of your family at home with this super magic trick. But shh, don't tell them the secret. So what happened? We changed the center of gravity of our butterfly from the middle to the nose. An object's center of gravity or its balancing point is the place that you can hold it up without it falling over. But of course, an object's center of gravity is not always in the middle. And that's what makes our butterfly experiment seem like a magic trick. If you do make this butterfly at home, I would love to see how you decorate it. Send any videos or photos through the lib events at belmont.wa.gov.au. And also your downloadable worksheet has links to websites that are child friendly so you can learn a little bit more about gravity or you can experiment at home.